If you want to be able to buy the most expensive players and open the best packs in FC24, go to u7buy.com to buy your EA FC24 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. With their already amazing prices, you can get an extra 6% using promo code INCEPTION at checkout. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new end of an era. Thiago Silva to check out uh, with this card. He's six foot tall, high, high work rates, three star, three star, mostly lengthy right footed player. I think they could have made his work rates a little bit different. I think for the meta, it's always nice to work with a medium high. But honestly, there's some center backs that have the high high that I don't really mind too much on them. Like, for instance, Rudiger is pretty crazy, right? Um, does his work rate bother me from time to time? It does, but like he has great, great animation. So it might be the same case with uh, Thiago Silva. Uh, anticipate jockey big ones power header i think more so for like the corner kicks if he has an aerial he does have an aerial okay so power header with a regular aerial um he has jockey plus block intercept anticipate plus bruiser um aerial as well as the acrobatic i think acro does acrobatic work the same way when you're doing like a clearance and you're doing like a bicycle kick clearance or something like is that what that is uh, performs volleys with improved accuracy and has access to acrobatic volley animations i guess for like the defensive stuff like you could score them from the corner kicks but you know a, f a formatted car that's formatted strangely <laughs> um i don't know what gives with that ea i don't know i don't know weird ones i mean you're gonna give him a shadow I, it doesn't matter if it's like small defensive increases you're gonna give him that the acceleration at a base 80 is just very weird though it is but the sprint speed's in a good area so that's a w at least um shooting on the card he has a shot power i think that goes like hand in hand with like the heading and stuff passing on the card is going to be in a good area dribbling um reactions and composure is usually the thing i look at the most and that's in a good area passing in a good area is actually a w2 it doesn't have any other play styles but you know uh defensive stats will be in a better area with the shadow especially physical stats also in a decent spot too so yeah since you know what we'll be trying out like a new formation and tactic while doing the defensive review so we'll kind of use him uh in the defensive position so yeah we'll go ahead and unlock him and uh and we'll see how he plays oh i try to do like a, a more complicated long uh long pass it is always more more ideal when the players have the um, actual play style, but the first time again. So it's just a kind of showcase. Like you can have the passing place, uh, the passing stats, but if you don't have the play styles, like it's um. They're not, they're not gonna do like as crazy as a job right that's why i always like tell people that when people when center backs have long ball pass it's very very underrated for sure and we'll switch downwards there oh have to deal with this stuff there we go Long ball pass again. See, that's a better one, right? He's more, he's faced more direct in that one. Good reach there. A little switch downwards. There we go. I don't like scoring those, but it is how this game kind of plays out, unfortunately. He may have moved his keeper there, but we still scored. Maybe, maybe. worked out. Transition speed is perfectly fine there. Get the slide challenge off. Good stuff. Mm. 
Oh, that was awkward. I tried to do a clearance there, but it didn't register it, so... Was the first to it there, regardless? Huh. Try to hit the corner kick with him. He got bullied there. Nicely done. Gonna do a little through ball here. Nice manual challenge actually works there. Well done, Tiago. Good, well occupied. Nice block there. Huh. <laughs> I guess those are the contextual ones with the acrobatic, eh? There's two it and then he just does the acrobatic stuff. Tell you that he did a clearance there. I'll try to do a slide tackle, but register like he got full possession of it. So, and it's a penalty pretty random to be fair. Not really the guy's fault, he's going just into me. Oh, where is he? Tiago Silva 22. He will go bottom left. Oh, he saves it. And he keeps it as well. Missed the slide challenge there. No yellow card. They're like, it's okay, bro. It's an end of an error. We're not going to give you one. I did actually press the tackle button there just to see if he would do a some sort of tackle animation there. He did get the block off though. He did uh, get an animation there, but just nothing afterwards. Legrand switch. Well positioned. A lot of drag touches, but we got the ball eventually. We'll take that goal. Well done, Hansen. We'll take that. Nice. You did well there, actually. Little challenge from behind there. Stop playing, but we'll take that. Why not? Oh, 
Almost got the slide challenge there with him. Nice challenge there. I didn't press the anticipate either. He just did that himself. Nicely done. Good job, Korea. Good body to body. You definitely tell his initial acceleration is definitely low for sure. But copy, I mean, he compensates well. All done, we'll take that. Let's get that one at least. Okay, boy, Tiago's got to throw him off a little bit there. That technically counts as a defensive play there. Offside, right? Nicely done. Good first time pass. Well positioned for that. <laughs> yeah, just take him out, Tiago. Sure. Well done, Tiago. Good stuff. Nice. Little reach around there. Nice block. Oh. Oh, do I get the deflection? Nope. 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 Do not get that. Doesn't matter what you do on the corner kicks, my dude. Do whatever you want, and you still won't get it sometimes. There you go. Manual defending works out. Legrand switch. Nice. Ah, I want to try a strike there if I could. Manual defending there. He actually lets that go there, that's good. Okay guys, so final verdict on the Tiago Silva card. So uh, with Tiago Silva guys, uh, with this card, in my opinion, I think he, in this game, you gotta give him a shadow because these guys giving him an anchor chemistry cell, I know by default, 
that these guys park the bus with the, with a passion because if they actually play this game with any sort of tactics that's like back and forth, the low acceleration is going to be annoying from time to time. I'm not going to say that it isn't, right? The low acceleration on the card at an 88 in the current meta of the game, when it comes to initially moving into people, um, it's a little bit annoying. But the thing is with him is that it's interesting because his bruiser works out really well with his physical capabilities. So if he's not too caught out of position and you're switching to him and then you're using the bruiser to kind of outmuscle somebody to get the ball back, he does do a pretty solid job at doing that sort of thing, right? Now, with the power header, uh, power header I personally can't utilize as much as uh, the regular FIFA community will because I know that you guys know your corner kick tactics. Um, but obviously, the power header working with the aerial, it is going to be a helpful thing to work with if you do utilize those corner kicks because obviously, he's going to have some pretty decent animations for that, right? So, yeah, acceleration... Uh, is going to be low from time to time, depending on the type of tactic, especially that you are going to be using. But I will say something about this card, and it's that his defensive animations, when it comes to standing tackles, even the sliding tackle and stuff, you know, like just defensive animations in general, they come off very nicely. Like the anticipate on his card works out very nicely, right? And it's a combination of the two because he has the jockey plus to work with the anticipate plus. So working with those two hand in hand to be able to, you know, cut out those sort of opportunities is fantastic. But you just have to be very mindful of the specific custom tactic that you use because if someone is attacking against you and he does and someone does like a law pass or something against you, that initial acceleration that he lacks sometimes is annoying to work with, right? But Defensive animations, as I mentioned earlier, very good on the card, right? So the dribbling on the ball, very cool to work with because obviously he still has good passing capabilities. He can't do those forced long passes as much as possible because he doesn't have the specific play style for that. Uh, but because he has good passing uh, stats in general, if you go for more obvious situations where you go for like a lob pass or a through pass and that kind of thing, he's still going to be decent at hitting those. Another thing that I wish was changed on the card as well when it comes to the meta of the game um, is obviously the high, high work rate. Sometimes the high, high work rates was a little bit annoying to work with because generally speaking, I think the medium high is always going to be like a more consistent thing to work with. But it's one of those sort of situations because a card like this, guys, like I said, I still think people will be completing him because of the defensive animations alone. And I'm going to explain to you guys why we play a very park the bus counterattacking game. And if he's not really caught out of possession and it comes down to actual defensive animations, that's what people are going to utilize the most, right? So if people are switching to a five back or they're just, you know, parking the bus in general, he is going to have those good animations. Because the key thing when people are all bunched up together is being able to have the jockey and the anticipate to block out those situations, right? And remember that he still has the regular intercept as well, right? So... Yeah, you know, if we're going to be doing like comparisons, like he doesn't touch like the Sergio Ramos card, for instance. I never did this card's review, but this guy is a ridiculous center back in game. And he also has a high, high work rates, right? So I wouldn't consider him on the same level as this card. This card, if you guys have tried him, like if you know, you know, like they, they did some crazy sauce to this card. I don't know, like he's insane to work with. Like he's he's incredible. So yeah, not on the level of something like that, obviously. I know people look at price difference, but guys, price difference is not important. There's players that sometimes cost like a million and a half and they are not that good in game, right? Like it happens all the time. Uh, but with Thiago Silva, I still think he's a cool SBC because I think for the general meta that people will play, they're just going to be looking specifically for those for those defensive animations when it comes to utilizing the Jockey Plus and the Anticipate Plus, okay? So... Hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. Philippe Anderson will be coming out next. I probably have a formation video today too and the two evolutions. Okay, so peace out my dudes. Love you guys.